And we are back here on Open. Todos Medical Engineers, life-saving diagnostic solutions for the early detection of a variety of different cancers. Now, Totals Medical is focused on distributing comprehensive solutions for COVID-19 screening, diagnosis, and immune support, as well as developing blood tests for early detection of cancer and Alzheimer's disease. We're pleased to have with us and giving us more details is the CEO of Totals Medical LTD, Gerald Comision. And uh, Gerald, thank you so much for being with us. And when we talk about uh, what's going on with Totos, uh, you've got some great things happening, uh, some research and some new findings. So bring us up to speed. Oh, thank you. And thank you for having me. Um, so, you know, we've been focused historically on cancer and Alzheimer's. That's been the area. Uh, but in the last couple of years, we've really gotten in depth in COVID. So we have a PCR lab down in Atlanta, Georgia, where we do PCR testing. We do neutralizing antibody testing. And we formed a joint venture where we started to work on something called the 3CL protease. Uh, the 3CL protease is the same target that Pfizer's drug Paxlovid is going after. And what we've done in that area is we developed a test to measure for the protease because we think that is really representative of whether the virus is a transmissible. So if you can infect somebody else, it's a little bit different than the PCR. Sometimes people say they test PCR positive for months, but they're not infectious. So we uh, were looking at whether you can actually infect someone else if you're positive. And then secondarily, we also looked at ways to stop that protease in a similar way to Pfizer. And there we have two, uh, two programs. One, uh, we have a botanical drug candidate uh, where we did a phase two clinical trial in Israel and we showed in the hospital setting some very, very promising results. We eliminated death while on therapy. 100% uh, of the patients uh, actually got better versus just 66% of the control arm. Uh, and we reduced the need for time on oxygen and, uh, and if whether people needed oxygen at all. So that was very positive. And then on the supplement side, uh, we got FDA authorization for a supplement version of that drug. And in the supplement, we don't make any claims as it relates to COVID or coronaviruses, but we are authorized to say that we are stopping the protease. And now, you know, in a world in which COVID is everywhere, we've heard from the CDC that 60% of Amer adults and maybe 75% of kids have gotten COVID. It's kind of reasonable to assume that, you know, just about everybody has some of the protease associated with COVID in their system. And so what we're trying to do is help people cleanse that out of their system. And by cleansing it, um, it seems as though people are also seeing some other health benefits, uh, which is very promising. And even we've heard from some long haulers who've had long haul COVID, um, who've had some resolution uh, in response to cleansing the protease out of their system. So it seems like there's something related to this protease uh, and long haulers. Uh, packs of it has seen the same thing. And so what we're doing now is we're gathering case studies um, of, uh, you know, physicians who are helping treat patients uh, and they seem to be getting better and we need to learn more about that. Uh, and we're going to be planning for clinical trials in the area. So it's something that's pretty exciting because there's not much else out there for these people. When you talk about FDA approval, congratulations. I understand that you got the FDA approval, but for someone who's not so familiar, talk to us about the process because uh, to get this out there, to get this out on the market and to receive the FDA approval is not an easy feat. Uh, Give us a little bit about what you had to go through in order to receive the FDA approval. Right. Well, I just want to make the distinction. that This is for the supplement. We have FDA authorization. It's right. a little bit different. But with the FTC, we got to make sure we stay on the right side of the line. But, um, you know, the process basically is for us, you know, supplements get a bad rap because a lot of people make bad products. They put them on the market and they make wild claims. You know, we've kind of taken the opposite approach. Um, we've, we've spent millions of dollars really studying scientifically this, you know, this area. And the founder, um, Dr. Dorita Rod out of Israel of this technology, she's been working on uh, the three cell protease for like 30 years. Um, and so we have very specific release criteria that allows us to know whether the product is doing what we say it's doing. And what we're saying it's doing is it's inhibiting the three cell protease. That the, we've received authorization from the FDA to say that, and it's right there on our label. Um, so with that statement, um, now we're able to really talk about cleansing that protease. And really, with every batch, we have to redo and reconfirm that the raw materials are meeting the criteria. With every batch, we have to confirm that they have the consistency and the quality um, so that they can be safe for people to take. And so far, we've had you know, very, very uh, good outcomes 
uh, from our clients. So uh, the process of getting through uh, and submitting is really all about the data that you generate ahead of time and what you feel and what they feel you can stand behind. Um, and that's what we're doing. We're inhibiting the three CL protease, and that seems to be helping a lot of people out there and the majority of people out there who probably have some three CL protease in their system. Speak to me a little bit about the New York City mandates and uh, how that affects the work that you're doing. Well, you know, it's a, it's an interesting uh, universe. You know, uh, New York City's coming back. People are going out. People are going to restaurants. People are going to bars. People are meeting. Uh, but of course, SARS-CoV-2 is is still circulating, uh, and there are new variants. Uh, the variants are more transmissible. Uh, it's easier to catch them, uh, and so you know, a lot of people are looking for that extra bit of help to try and support their immune system in you know these challenging times. So for us. Um, you know, the mandates came down. Uh, we expected positivity to go up. You know, that's what's happening. Uh, the mandates came down. Uh, unfortunately, testing came down, so we're a little bit flying blind. That's a little bit of an issue. But um, for us, as more and more people learn that, hey, you know, at least I can take this cleanse and try and cleanse uh, the protease out of my system as often as I feel like. That could be every day. So we have a daily version where you can take a couple pills a day and kind of help reduce your three cell protease content. Or it could be like a really full cleanse, uh, a five day cleanse where you take 12 pills a day. And you know that's in a setting where you may have a lot of protease in your system, you really want to get rid of it. Uh, we think that people coming back is a great thing, but you got to try and do that safely. And we think our product can help make that a reality. Uh, Gerald Comision, CEO of Totos uh, Medical LTD. We want to thank you so much for being with us. Now we want to let you know, if you want more information, you can visit their website at totoscovid19.com and then also follow them on Twitter and Facebook at Totos Medical. Gerald, thanks again for being with us. We encourage you, don't go anywhere. We'll be back with more Open Code Up right after this.